Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this videos, in the upcoming videos, we are going to learn what Apex is and also along with that, we are going to master Apex and triggers using real time scenarios. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So the first point comes is what is Apex? When do we use it? What exactly it is, right? What is the procedure? When do we go to Apex only? And it is also asked in an interviews usually. So before even getting started to what Apex is, let's understand what automation is. Automation means, let's consider an example. You are sitting on a chair and let's say you want to turn on the light of your the, the particular room. So what you do is you just go ahead and click on that button and automatically what happens is the light gets turned on the same way you are sitting on your sofa and now you want to start your TV right so you go ahead click on the button of your remote and then the TV gets started so basically what's exactly happening is that based on like you don't have to go ahead and connect those wires and all that stuff right you have built over here is an automation like on the click of a button certain operations are happening which would be much more difficult if we go back in the time so <clears throat> as far as the future is concerned we have built automation with the help of which on the click of a button or something on certain simpler operation we can perform a much more bigger task in the same way if you want to build automation systems in salesforce there are multiple ways uh, one of them is point and click and another of them is coding so in case of point and click, uh, the other ways are process builder, workflow rules, screen flows, record trigger flows. Record trigger flows is one of the most uh, advanced in terms of uh, point and click. So you can uh, you can uh, use a record trigger flow in order to build certain kind of automation. Now how automation works in Salesforce? Automation simply is nothing but let's say you are inserting account, and as soon as you are inserting an account, you want contact should also get inserted same like when you started the when you clicked on the button of your tv uh, remote of the tv the tv gets started the same way when account is inserted you want that contact should also get inserted so what's happening is that there is a starting point and there is an end point now based on one condition another condition or another operation is automatically happening so that's what is the automation like account is inserted contact is also inserted when account is updated contact is also updated right so these kinds of automations you can build with the help of flows, with the help of screen flows, with the help of record trigger flows, with the help of process builders. These are nothing but point and uh, click tools. I have created videos on record trigger flows. I'll provide the link in the description where you will understand how record trigger flows work. So basically that's what the record trigger flows is. But let's say you want to deal with much more granular level. So for an example, you want to show an error message which is not possible inside the screen flows, right? Or you want to go on much more granular level. Like for an example, when the account is inserted, uh, let's say there is an object B related to that and there is an object C related to that B and you want that when A account is updated, you want that some D object to get updated based of the B and C. So which in which you have to build a very complex solution. In that case is you want much more control or a control on the granular level. And that's where you come up with apex now in such kind of automations where you have to go on in much more granular level that's where you go ahead and use apex so what exactly apex is apex is nothing but an automation coding language with the help of which you can build automations simple in java we use java language in in, in another uh, like in python we use python language to build automations right we build a ui and based on the click of a button or certain operations we write codes and scripts inside the python in order to perform certain kind of operation in the same way if you have to build some kind of automation on a very granular level a complex automation that's where you go ahead with apex now you might be thinking okay i have read okay that we have to use triggers instead of using apex so Triggers is nothing but the triggering point, but the main code overall code is written inside the Apex. So Apex is very uh, Apex is a coding language very similar to that of the Java, but the only difference is that we do not have main method, and there are multiple differences which we will cover in the next upcoming videos. So Apex is in simple terms 
is a coding language which is built to you create an automation inside Salesforce. So if you have to build an automation on a granular level, we use Apex. Now that's what the Apex is in in the terms of Salesforce. If you have to build an automation, use Apex. In the more upcoming videos, we are going to go on a granular level what variables is and how to build functions inside Apex, how to call an Apex class from a trigger and all these things. So this is what the Apex is. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to the channel.